So now we're inside this uh, single room cabin, and as I'd said before, it's 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 a surviving example of uh, of a single room cabin, but it's a very high quality surviving example. So we do, for example, have a chimney, whereas most um, single room cabins, I guess, would have no chimney or would have a very basic um, wattle wattle type chimney. One of the very interesting features of this cabin, as a reflection of it coming from the northeast of Ireland, is this here bed out shot. The bed out shot was was basically um, where the wall was sort of pushed out a, 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 a wee bit to create a, a bed, um, an area for for a bed um, that was um, close to the fire. This one is actually quite interesting because it's such a, a small cabin. The outshot actually isn't large enough to take even a small bed completely completely inside it. Most other examples you'll see the outshot would be shot out far enough to at least take a single bed w within the area of the outshot. This one doesn't. Um, um, folklore and um, memory would have it that m maybe the um, father or the mother would have slept here or that um, the uh, older person would have slept here and then uh, on the floor itself on a shakedown bed the, the children would have slept under whatever sorts of um, uh, blankets or clo ex spare clothing they had to throw over themselves at night Th there'd be a bit of straw um, sh sh shook out on the floor or maybe a, a bit of heller to keep them up off the floor the, the, floor, the floor itself and the majority of single room cabins um, wouldn't have been a, a solid floor, it wouldn't have been a stone floor or a paved floor, it would have been a, a dirt floor. So again, the need for some sort of bedding on the floor to keep the occupants off the, off the floor at night. There would just have been one communal bed, the father and mother and the children would have slept, would, would have lay, lay in, one, in, in, in one space. Um, there's um, quite a few stories uh, about just, you know, how poor these people were in terms of their bedding, in terms of their clothing, and how little they had. In fact, if you look around this cabin in terms of material culture, you know the only substantial thing of material culture you see in, in the cabin is actually the iron iron pot. The iron pot was um, so important because you had to boil your potatoes in order to eat them. You can't eat raw potatoes. The starch has to be um, denatured so that the, um, that the human body is able to. Um, make use of it. So the potatoes have to be have to be boiled. Boiled over the turf fire. The turf fire, you know, provided for cooking, provided for heating and then also provided for a wee bit of light in the water time uh, as well. So the hearth really was the the center of the home and you can see here we have a number of what we call creepy stools arranged around the hearth. Um, once the potatoes would have been boiled in, in the pot and the water drained out then the pot um, may, may be tossed out onto the um, onto the um, wicker wicker basket here. The wicker basket may have then sat on top of the pot, so the pot would have functioned as a, as a table or the support of the table. And the wicker basket would have been um, full of potatoes for the family of whatever it was, four, five, maybe even 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 six, and they would have ate the potatoes. There were no cutlery; they would have been just. Um, the potatoes would have been peeled with the with the nails of their of their of their hands. There's stories that, in fact, when you got round to May and June, where the potato skins were, were, were getting quite hard to peel, the people tended to grow their fingernails a wee bit longer so they could uh, peel the potatoes just that wee bit easier. So, very much lack of uh, material culture. One of the things that you know uh, the point has been made sometimes with drawings of the time, paintings of the time, that whenever they would draw um, a famine scene and they would show that there was no pot over the fire, they would show really that all hope is gone. Once the pot is gone, then there's nothing to cook with. Um, the pot would have been sold or pawned, but really, once you do that, there there is no future. Um, you have you have no money for anything, and. Uh, as a, you know, as we know, maybe upwards of one million people um, died uh, during during the famine times. Also, in this house, in terms of construction, if we look ab above us, we can see um, the thatched roof. Again, this thatched roof here would be of superior construction, but it looks rough. 
but um, this would be a superior construction. We have the trusses made out of bog oak or um, you know it wouldn't have been made out of timber that you, that would have come from a, from, 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 from a sawmill and then we have the, the, um, the runners uh, running along, along the chimney and then running up to the apex of the roof we have, have the wattles and then on top of, of the wattles would be a layer of sod normally cut off um, the, the, the top of the turf bog would have been cut off and then put on, on top of, of the wattles and then on top on top of that layer the thatch would have been put on and would be pinned on the place, place using scallops which are basically um, twisted um, sticks of hazel sharpened uh, at either end in order to pin the thatch um, to the um, uh, to the sod to hold it on, 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 on the roof and then it would be created as you see seen outside the thatch would have been created in such a manner that the water would have run off one piece of straw onto, onto another until it went onto the ground and stopped it from getting into the house. Poor quality houses would have had poor quality roofs and quite often you would hear stories that when it was wet there was quite a bit of water would have been coming through the roof. You think about it when it was wet between the water coming through the roof and the ground water on the ground uh, a house like this here would have been pretty, pretty uncomfortable during uh, an inclement weather. Again, this house we have here it survived because it would have been um, um, of higher quality. The, um, I can't make the point often enough that so many of these houses melted away. A famine came in 18, 1845, so many of the houses melted away within five years because once the people left the house, the house just melted into the landscape. It disappeared as if it had never been there.